Hi there, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some MLB action for September the 18th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all these tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so the NL, uh, the NL season is just about um, over for the regular season, but there's still some playoff spots up in the air, and so we want to get started, take a look at some of those games for the 18th. So, it's a full slate of games. The first thing we want to look at is Minnesota Twins and the Cincinnati Reds. You can see here the Twins coming in burning hot. They are uh, winners of three out of their last four. While the Reds are average up, they are 4-2 over their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see Minnesota has been trending in games over the line. And Cincinnati has also, at least in um, the last few games, uh, the score prediction has Minnesota by an 8-6 to six score with confidence in prediction. It's not real high, though, only about 55%. If you want to take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see that Cincinnati is on a little bit of a downward trend here. They're at plus 18 as of September 15th. And Minnesota went from plus 14. They are now back up to plus 21. If you take a look at the stability factor right here, this chart you can see it's been up and down for both teams. As you see, uh, Minnesota was at plus 15 back on July 23rd, and since then they have not been very consistent. They are now down to plus 12. Well, Cincinnati has been roller coaster up and down all year as far as the consistency factor goes. You can see they're up as high as plus 11, but that was way back on May the 21st, and they're currently sitting at plus 8. <clears throat> In the end, though, I like the Twins. Um, I don't really see them. The Reds doing too much in, in this one. I think it's going to be a higher scoring game, so though. So let's take the Twins and over the line. The next game we want to look at. Uh, let's see, Philadelphia Phillies and Atlanta Braves. The Braves just won three out of four in Philadelphia. Now the Phillies have the unenviable task of trying to win in Atlanta. It won't be easy. Zach Wheeler is on the mound for the Phillies. He got hit around pretty hard in the last game against the Braves. Uh, for the season, he has a 3.70 ERA. Um, so way ERA is actually quite good at 3.26, but he's a very poor bet at minus $245. Um, the Phillies are ice cold. Up at the moment, just 2-4 and four over their last six. And you can see the Braves are average status. They are 4-2 over their last six. If you look at the over-under, the teams have been trending in games over the line. You see Phillies in four out of the last five have been over. And Atlanta, three out of the last five have been over. The score predictor thinks this is going to be another Atlanta blowout by a 10-4 to 4 score, but the confidence in the prediction is rather low at 39%. If you look at the power ranks indicator, not a surprise that Atlanta is at the top of the league, where they should be with the best record in baseball at plus 29, and the Phillies are a respectable plus 20. In the end, though, it's really not probably a good idea to put the Phillies in this one. Yeah, I mean, they have the chance because they have some good bats, but Atlanta is the best team in the league. They are playing at home. Let's go with the Braves to win, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. Milwaukee and St. Louis. In the NL Central battle here, Milwaukee comes in burning hot, winners of four out of their last six, while the Cardinals are averaged down three and three over their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see Milwaukee involved in games over the line three out of their last six. And St. Louis has been involved in games under the line in four out of their last six. The score predictor has St. Louis by nine to five margin, which would be over the line. But again, the confidence in the prediction is rather low at only 33.7%. So take that with a grain of salt. If you look at the stability factor, you can see that St. Louis is very inconsistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, just at minus three. While Milwaukee is pretty stable in this category at plus 15, which is their highest mark of the season. Head-to-head -head wise, uh, the teams have split the six games this season. You can see right here, both teams winning two out of three at their home uh, stadium with the biggest uh, margin of victory, an 18-1 to one blowout uh, with St. Louis on top back on May the 15th. In the end, though, I think this is going to be a Brewers game. They're going to keep playing, keep fighting hard to try to wrap up the division while the Cardinals are going nowhere in last place. And they really, they really have nothing to play for. Next game we want to look at here is probably the game of the day, the Orioles and the Astros. Although the Orioles have lost their last four, 
They're 5-5 five and five over their last 10. Dead status at the moment, but they are still at top with the uh, Rays in the um, AL East while defending world champion Astros are battling with the Rangers on top in the AL West. And you can see they are averaged down 3-3 three and three over their last 6. The teams have been trending on opposite sides of the over-under. The score predictor has Baltimore by two runs. Confidence in prediction, a little bit higher than the toss of a coin at 53%. On the power ranks indicator, Houston has a little bit of an edge there at plus 25 to Baltimore's plus 22. They've been pretty uh, pretty similar all season long, as you can see here, both up near the top of the league in that category. Head-to-head -head wise, they played three games this season in Baltimore with Houston winning two out of the three with a combined score of 17 to 13 in those three games. Um, I'm going to actually go with an upset here. I just have a feeling here about the Orioles. They're going to have to get out of their slump at some point. Losers of their last four. Why not now? Let's go with the Orioles, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. And then the last one we want to look at for the day is, as we scroll down through, a full slate of games. You can take a look at all of these if you want. Um, Detroit and Los Angeles. Now, why Detroit and Los Angeles? Detroit's going nowhere. Los Angeles at top in the NL West. But it's kind of an interesting matchup because Detroit has been playing a lot better ball lately, burning hot, 4-2 over the last six. And Los Angeles is only 3-3 three three over their last six. If you look at the over-under, uh, Detroit involved in games over the line in three out of the last four. Los Angeles in five out of the last six. The score predictor has... A Detroit upset, 8-6 to six with 60% level of confidence. Do we go that way? Well, let's see. On the power ranks indicator, the Dodgers at plus 24, while Detroit's only at plus 7. On the volatility oscillator, you can see that Los Angeles has been among the most stable teams in the league at plus 23. Detroit has been up and down. You can see they were as high as plus 10 back on June 15th, and now they are back down to plus seven, so they have been very inconsistent. In the end here, I really don't think the Tigers are going to take this one. I like the Dodgers to win, and I'm going to pick them with quite a bit of confidence, but I, I'm going to go in a game over the line, so Dodgers and over. So there you have it. Those are the games for MLB for September the 18th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.